Yeah. Well, well, we just came. <laughs> I think we better go unpack, don't we you think? We don't unpack. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, come yeah, down yeah, I, hello. I, I, I don't know. Hello is such a little word for such a big feeling. I, I, I want to say hello to you with all with all the letters in the alphabet. That would be a hello. Anyway, hello. How are you? Oh, have I stories for you from Pinker's Pines? What do you mean you sit on a rocking chair on a porch for six weeks so you hear plenty and you talk plenty and everybody knows you and you know everybody? And how long does it take to call everybody by their first name? You know, that's why I, I didn't hesitate. When, when I saw the women in the children's dining room getting a little nervous, got nervous because the children didn't, didn't eat. And in the mountains, you know, even if you don't eat, so you have to pay. And the elderly folks also a little irritable eh, because the mattresses are not so soft like, like they are home. Or, or the young people, very restless. What do you mean why they're not restless? Because two little weeks and they want to do everything, so, so they're restless. So that's why I didn't hesitate. The same as I tell you about Sanka. So I told them about Sanka coffee, that it's good for, for, for restlessness and it's good for irritability. And, and, and that's why, that's why I, I, I told them that. And uh, after all, I, uh, those that didn't know, I told them that 97% of the caffeine is removed and you can drink as much as you want and as often as you want because the sleep is left in. And it comes in regular, comes in instance. And you know what? Mr. Pink has thanked me very, very much for recommending Sanka and he told me, you know what? confidentially said, you know, Mrs. Gorbach, I, I don't get so many complaints since my customers is drinking Sanka. Uh, everybody likes the service. Nobody complains about the cooking. Nobody says the mattresses is not soft. And he says, you know what else? I really think that the Sanka coffee gets into the disposition. And he says, even if it costs a penny this way or a penny that way, it's non-consequential. Will you do me a favor? What's my Will you ask Mrs. Goldberg to change that dress? I can't look at her in the same dress. After all, I'm a dress manufacturer. All right, I will. I don't know, but dresses, I'm the will same as with friends. Me, darling, <laughs> I will, I will. will. Will you excuse me a minute? I have to say to you, to my neighbors. One second, I'll say again. And now we come to that special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. My friends in the panel always have blindfolds for this part of the program. Are they all in place, panel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? In the case of the uh, mystery challenger, we dispense with all of the usual preliminaries and get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with Miss Fay Emerson. That was very extended applause. Are you someone uh, very much in the public eye? Rather. <laughs> uh, uh, in other words, you appear a good deal before the public. I do. Are you in uh, any sense in the field of entertainment? I say I am, yes. Oh. Have you appeared uh, on television before? Yes. Have you also appeared in other branches of the entertainment industry? A few, I would say, yes. Have you appeared on the silver screen? The what screen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Have you been in pictures? <laughs> In moving pictures? Mm hmm Yes. Uh, have you also been in the theater? Yes, I have. Uh, have you done a picture that would have played in, uh, let us say, on Broadway in the last year? Indeed, I have. Uh, now, you mustn't get into a lady's age. That would be very naughty. Uh, <laughs> do you have a... Uh, have you appeared regularly on television? On and off, yes. Uh, but I take it you the don't. Sponsor's disposition. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the sponsor's disposition. Oh. Oh. But then I take it that you do not have your own regular television show now. Oh, I have my show now. So did you get a no for that, Miss Fay? You All asked right. that uh, on a yes or no basis. One down to nine to go, Mr. Sir. When you say you have a show now, does it? You mean that it appears regularly on television? At this time? Yes, it does. <clears throat> well, let's give a loud cheer for CBS. Does it appear on this network? 
We're not permitted to say anything about it. Well, Well, is it a program with a plot rather than a variety show? Well, we're not bored villains. Hmm? What did she say? I would think you could describe this as being a program with a plot, not a vaudeville or variety show, yes. Uh, Is it... um, Let's see, what are they? Half hour, aren't they? Is it a half hour weekly show? Yes, yes, it is. And is it a comedy program? Well, it varies. (laughs) (laughs) Have you also appeared in musical comedies on the Broadway stage? Not on the Broadway stage. That's three down and seven to go, Mr. Allen. Uh, do you do the comedy on the program? I beg your pardon? (laughs) (laughs) Nothing personal, I'm sure. (laughs) I say, do you personally contribute uh, towards the laughter on the program? I try to. Are you the program's out-and-out star? Maybe John would have to answer that. Yes, I believe I am. You are then... A comedian? Oh, occasionally. <laughs> the girls are funny on the other network. Let me see. <laughs> Not too funny. <laughs> oh, dear. About 18 names in mind here. My goodness. Am I uh, correct in guessing that you have not been in motion pictures for the past uh, two or three years? Oh, you're wrong. I made a picture last year. That's four down and six to go, Miss Everton. Uh, Is this the voice that you use in your program? No, it is not. Do you use an accent in the uh, character you play? Yes, I do. Is it by any chance uh, uh, from the north of Europe? The north of what? The north of Europe, the accent. No. No. Oh, five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. You were, uh, you were thinking of Peggy Wood, weren't you? Yes, I was. Yeah, well, she she like... was in musical shows in New York. In New York. Uh, you use an accent that is not from the north of Europe. Is it an accent, then, that is from the southern part of Europe? No, no. <laughs> no, no. no. Four to go, Mr. Oh, but, um... I'm dead. I guess I've been watching the wrong program. Oh, could we have a conference? Yes, you let's may have, have a conference. conference. 20 seconds for conference. It might be a hillbilly girl. It could be a hillbilly, it could be a southerner. Or a Brooklyn. Is this by any chance a family show? Uh, Who is it, Betty? Is it Molly Goldberg, by any chance? Oh, they got it in a conference. Years. Actually, I had a rule on something there. You got that in a conference, and you had it confirmed by our happy audience, which was a fine idea, but Dorothy was supposed to be asking the question. I was glad not to be on. Thank you, Steve. I'm sorry. No. It was I dark have... in there, and I lost my head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't think of a better day to have uh, Miss Gertrude with us, you know. This is Mother's Day, and grandmother and mother. <laughs> Heard with us today. Every Tuesday evening, as I dare say you will all remember now, on another network which shall go nameless, but is called Dumont. What? I'm particularly <laughs> embarrassed, John, not to have done a little bit better on Molly Goldberg because I've just finished reading my father's series of articles on her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> would Miss wonderful. Goldberg use, uh, would you use your, the accent you, we know now for just what a What do you sentence? want me to say, darling? <laughs> 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 I thought you were going to ask me whether I was from the north of New York. That would be the Bronx. Would you have had it? (laughs) Ask some more questions, because I want to hear a little bit more of of, uh, Molly Goldberg. Well, I am so ashamed that I didn't recognize as Molly Goldberg knows that I'm her greatest fan. I claim that honor. (laughs) Thank you. I have one question I'd like to ask, John. What does our next guest do for a living? I'm not going to tell you, so there's no point in asking, Steve. Miss Delbar, this is the first week in a long time we haven't guessed Rhonda Fleming. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must, I have never heard a voice as deep and gracious as yours driven so high, and it stayed up there. The one thing that I thought you might get is every once in a while, Miss Good would have to clear her throat because the strain of that high pitch was too much, and I'm hoping you think it was me rather than her. <laughs> I don't know what you did to you. Our thanks for being our well, guest. I can't think of a happier guest on, on Mother's it. Day. Nice to have you here.